Hello everyone, this is Tony D Fashion. I would like to show us the fastest way to cut this type of dress in the princess cut. And this is our measurement. Yeah, our shoulder is 16, the bust is 43, underbust 39, waist is 37. So our sleeve is 24, our arm is 14, 8. Then there is a way I take my measurement because I work with the sediment of the body. So I would like us to watch my measurement video just to know the basic way of taking measurement. So now I like to cut my front and back together. So I prefer to put uh, a distance between the first layer and the second layer of my of the material. So now the very first thing I do is to get my shoulder. So, so from there I'll be able to figure out where my sediment is because my breast falls on nine on eleven while I'm on the bust of fifteen and the waist falls on eighteen. So now we just need to mark it like eleven, fifteen and eighteen. Then we'll be able to draw our chest, our boss line, then our under boss line. And our waist. So our bust is 43, which is 10 3 quarter. So this is our point. Then which our under bust is 39, which is 9 3 quarter, which is this point. And our waist is 37, which is 9 1 quarter. So we divide it by 2 as well. So this is our underboss, our waist, and our boss. Then we draw a straight line from here, which is this portion here, up to here. So our our drawing, our line from our boss to our waist is this. We are having this distance up to this line. So from here, this same distance, we have to we measure it and put it on the other side. Same thing from this point too. We draw this. So we draw the line from our under waist to under bust, then from our waist to under bust. So from this point, I prefer to use free hand to make my top. Up to here. Then we check, we measure with mark our shoulder which is 16 we had half inches to our shoulder for the sewing allowance then we take three quarter inches down from our shoulder so it depends on the design we want to do is where we are going because the neck doesn't have a particular measurement so with the kind of design i want to make i only need to make it this way so that I can make the drawing like this. So that is our front part, whereby our back part, we are going to add three quarters to the back, just to make our back. So this is our back. So we take, it depends on how you want to reveal the back. We can do it the same way for the front and the back. So now we come to this point. What I normally do here, I will still have half quarter inches on both sides. Quarter inches on both sides. Just to get, get my just to make sure my boss sits properly inside the cup I'm providing for the boss. So now this is the portion we have to cut out. This portion we have to cut out, we have to add it to this side here. So now we we'll measure what we are going to cut out, which is two inches here. We add two inches to this part. We are cutting out three quarter, one three quarter here. So we are going to add it to this portion here. So what we are cutting out here is what we had to this side. So now we have to add an, another sewing allow whatever we have to sew. Our half inches we have to sew from this end here and here so 
we have to add it our sewing allowance for the inside then we have to add one quarter sorry, one and a half of our measurement for the sewing allowance or i mean our side allowance so now draw a straight line from here so now we now divide this portion into two to get our which is this portion here so we make our drawing like this for our curve then we add take two inches from here so that is how we are going to get our so we draw this line join to this portion that is our apple so we just need to take like three inches i don't normally cut my arm all at once the only time i cut my arm all at once is when it's sleeveless so i just have to draw it just to make a curve like this and join this line to this portion here so now we cut our front and back the same way then we will take out the front from the back I prefer to use rotary cutter because it makes it easy. Okay, another thing I want us to do is our back is not straight. So I prefer to make it freehand according to the way the back looks like. So I normally make my back this way so that when I'm cutting, I'll cut the back. Now, I already cut my front and back together. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to mark the dart I want to take from the back, this middle point of our breast point here. So we now open it and first of all trim this portion out because we are not making it the same way. Now we come back to the front part. We now cut it according to our drawing. Then so we take out this part from the front. So this is our front part and this is our back part. For this kind of design now this is the kind of sleeve we have to cut for this dress is a four piece sleeve which is having the wrist which our wrist is eight our ammo is 14 then the sleeve is 24 so now we mark 24 first this 24 So we take out four inches. Then it depends on how puffy and how bogus we want our sleeves to look like. So we now need to just make it maybe around 14. Then We just make then here we can make it so that it won't be too big on our hand we can make it 10 so we have to draw a straight line from this point to this point for our number now our wristband because we have to sew it folded so our wristband shouldn't be more than two inches but we have to cut five inches one inches half inches for the sewing allowance whereby our wrist band will be two inches so we have to make it five inches then
10 because our weight is 8 so that means it should be 4 then we add 3 quarter inches to it 4 So this is our sleeve. Then another thing I want to do on this is just to extend this portion here, just to make it puffy more. So I just have to extend it this way, and our sleeves is ready for cutting. So we just need to do it this way. And this, and here. So the reason why this is how our sleeves is going to be then to be fold. We are going to fold our sleeves like this for this part. Then this part will be gathered for and here also there will be gathered here for our sleeves to be to give us this type of look. So, stay tuned to see the outcome of our cutting.